I'm just at the front of the property here. This is the curb outlet to the right hand side of the driveway at the property. Now I jetted the drain from this point to approximately eight meters, which uh, I believe is about where these boulders are, presuming that this does head straight up the uh, straight up toward the home. Uh, these these two boulders here are very huge and heavy. I'm picking that possibly they've actually crushed the line uh, and that could explain my inability to go any further and could also contribute greatly to the to the blockage of the actual downpipes. Um, there's more boulders further along uh, this side as well for retaining. Um, we've got a front downpipe there, we've got another front downpipe here and there which uh, I assume they all head to uh, toward the curb at the outlet. I'll just check further. This one does have a, a leaf catcher, which could indicate uh, something else. But we'll head toward the rear here. Okay, now assuming this is an outlet from the tank, and that's those are the inlet points there. We have now we have what appears to be. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so we have an internal, so we have a gutter from the main roof line here, which is a 90 millimeter, which is discharging over the tank. That's okay. Um, for the awning, over the rear patio area, we've got a two inch line, which heads in there. Okay, so we've got another, uh, this is the other awning here. It's qu quite a large section of roof uh, that this awning is, is taking. Uh, although it is separated from the from the guttering of the external roof, perhaps this could be upgraded to a 90 mil dropper here, and 90 mil actually teed into that line, which discharges into the tank. Looks like we've got two, yeah, we've got two droppers connected to the to the guttering there, or oh, and three actually. We've got three. Um, okay, there are an extra two that have been placed here, possibly overflows sections of overflow that have been fitted um, and oh, they and they go back to a leaf catcher which is at, the, at that point there now we have a okay so we combine all of those lines are combined there isn't a lot of fall on those lines although it is stormwater uh, they, they discharge directly that discharges directly over uh, this tank here now there there was an overflow which is filled with gravel as far as I can tell at the moment. It's been closed off and there's been some uh, mosquito uh, mosquito barrier places there. Yeah, that's about as far as we can go with that. Um, this other one here discharges directly over on that side. Okay, so that all appears reasonable. That all appears reasonable like it. And then we've got another that downpipe at the left front there, which is the other one. So this whole section of roof, it has a downpipe by the side. Um, okay, so basically an overflow needs to be reinstated to this rainwater tank. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the with the actual stormwater at that point. Uh, that's something I can discuss further. Um, and obviously those boulders at the front. Uh, front right of the property if the stormwater does tee and run along this side of the house and combine to that one curb outlet then uh, then possibly those boulders could be the main culprit um, okay and this this um, I've jetted this here as well uh, which is uh, at the rear of the patio between the patio and swimming pool area and that actually goes along to here And it actually discharges at this point here, so maybe, perhaps, uh, that's something else that we can look at as well.